What's going on everybody? I'm back with another Hi-Risk Coin Pusher video for you all today. And in today's video we're going to be doing a $10 million buy-in. And we're actually starting with 1,500 quarters today. They let me bring 1,000 of my own quarters on this game right here. And they gave me an extra 500 quarters since I did that $10 million buy-in. So anyhow, wish me good luck. Hopefully we can walk out of here with a massive profit today. My goodness, they got this thing loaded up fantastically well. Looks like a ginormous wall of chips in there. That's probably the biggest wall of chips I've ever seen in there before. Bottom layer, those are $5,000 chips. And the top layer, those are $10,000 chips. They got like four mystery bags in there. Up front, there's a brown mystery bag on that left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, there's a like dark blue mystery bag. And back there on the blue shelves, there's a pink mystery bag on the right and a black mystery bag on the left blue shelf. And back there on the pusher, there was a pyramid of gold and there's like four $25,000 chip towers in there, two massive towers of gold. So we definitely have the potential to make some pretty good money today, so hopefully we can win it all out of there. Tell you what, that great big old wall, the base of it's starting to slide out from underneath of it. It's a good sign right there. That means it's getting really, really close to crashing down. Oh, yeah. About to get a whole bunch of $5,000 chips. Come on. Oh, yeah. It's about to be a big push. Come on. Nice. Check that out. We got all them $5,000 chips. It was right there on the edge. Nice. And we got that blue mystery bag on top of that. Sweet. Oh my goodness, will that great big old wall crash down, but it got stuck against the glass, unfortunately. So let's try to get that loot chute cleared out real quick. Alrighty, AMV coin pressure has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I got that loose chute cleared out. That was a boatload of five and ten thousand dollar chips for this guy right there. And we're getting all kinds of twenty-five thousand dollar chips also. Come on, nice push. Oh my goodness, this is doing exceptional. We're making a fortune today. We're making out like a bandit. Oh my goodness, this is doing amazing. So take a guess down in the comments and let me know how much money you think I'm going to win today from a $10 million buy-in. I know that's a lot of money to spend, but I do this for you all. I know y'all enjoy the big buy-in videos, so try to make as many of those types of videos as possible. Nice, we're getting a whole bunch of $25,000 chips. Yeah, let's just keep on pushing across the whole field. I think that's our best bet for now. Oh my gosh, that was a spectacular push on that left-hand side. And we already got both of those mystery bags that was on the left and the right-hand side. And now you all can see the stuff that's on the blue shelves a little bit better. Come on, nice push. Oh yeah, right-hand side's moving good now. Come on, big money. And also, there's multiple ways I could win all that stuff that's on the blue shelves. The first way, I could stack the quarters up pretty high back there on the pusher, kind of like I'm doing right now. And for example, say that gold tower was like hanging over the blue shelf just a little bit. Sometimes if I stack up the quarters, I would have a good chance of trick shotting that tower into the play field. But as you can see, none of the towers are like hanging over the blue shelf today, so that first method wouldn't work out. Anyhow, the second way I could win them towers is if there's a $5 chip or a red earbud hidden in there. And if I win either one of those two, I will get to cash it in. They've moved all those towers to the play field for free. And we did get two of the mystery bags, so those mystery bags definitely might have that $5 chip in there. But if the $5 chip or the red earbud is not in there, then it would cost me two times original buy-in, so that means it would cost 20 million to get the blue shelves cleared off, and that would be a 30 million dollar buy-in in total. So it'd be a lot of money to spend for sure. So really, really counting on those mystery bags to have that five dollar chip in there. I mean, even if we did have to pay two times original buy-in, it should be worth it, because there's a bunch in there today. 
So anyhow, that right there was the last of the quarters. So let's go round up the quarters and we'll try to get these remaining chips out of here. Be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. So before I continue playing, I'd like to go ahead and open up one of these Mr. Bags. So let's see, which one should I start with? I think I'm going to go ahead and start with the dark blue Mr. Bag first. Let's go ahead and check it out, see if there's anything nice and valuable in there. Feels like it's loaded up decently well, so let's see what we get. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. So we got two of the white dice, the $10 chip, the $5 chip, and the $50 chip. So like I said earlier, this $5 chip, I get to cash this in. They'll take all that stuff that's on the blue shelves, and they'll put it into the play field somewhere. And this $10 chip, this is worth one free tower. I get to cash this in. They'll let me spin a wheel. And that wheel has all these different types of chip values on there. And whatever it lands on, it's what type of brand new tower they'll build somewhere in the machine. And the $50 chip, I get to cash this in at the end of the game. They'll take anything that's fallen down those gutters and they'll put it back into the play field. And lastly, the white dice, I get to roll these at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, my winnings will multiply by those numbers. That is absolutely phenomenal. That Mr. Bag was loaded up really, really well. So anyhow, let's get right back to pushing. Let's try to get these remaining chips out of here. And if this round right here doesn't get the remaining chips out of there, uh, then I'll probably go ahead and just cash in that uh, $10 chip. And surprisingly, we have not won any of the $1 chips yet. Typically, the $1 chips would be in the Mr. Bag with the rest of those special chips. But today it wasn't in there. I mean, we still got that brown Mr. Bag we got to open. There's a possibility it could be in that brown Mr. Bag, so we'll find out here shortly. Nice, but we got that right hand side in the center all cleared out now. So let's try to get that five grand on the left hand side. Then we'll be ready to open up that Mr. Bag. Oh yeah, getting tons of quarters back, that's for sure. Nice, that was a good push. Yeah, normally the last like, chip or the last gold bar or the last item in there is always the most stubborn to win. I'm pretty sure the reason why the last item is pretty difficult to win, it's because there's no weights or pressure built up anywhere else in the play field. So the quarters are just going to like move around the item that has weight to it. But if there was like chips across the whole entire play field, then it would have no choice but to just move everything evenly. But since there's only like 5,000 on the left there, it's going to take a little bit to get that to go. I mean, it's worth it once you get it all cleared out. Don't get me wrong. Well, it looks like we just trick shot uh, 15 grand back into the play field. I'll probably try to win that on the next round after I cash in that $10 chip. So anyhow, we're going to call it quits right there. That right there is going to be the last push. Come on, big money. Alright, well, let's go ahead and check out that brown Mr. Bag. Alright, here it is. Let's go ahead and open it up, see if there's anything spectacular in there. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. So we got three of the $1 chips. So each one of these is worth 500 free quarters. So I get to cash all three of these in. They'll give me an extra 1,500 quarters. That is amazing. And we also got two of the gold dice and another white dice. So the gold dice, those multiply the gold bars by whatever they land on. So that's not bad, not bad at all. That Mr. Bag was loaded up fantastically well. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and cash in that $10 chip and all three of them $1 chips, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, a and Coin Thrusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I uh, cashed in that $10 chip and all three of the $1 chips. It gave me an extra 1,500 quarters, and I got to spin that wheel, and today it landed on one-ounce gold bars. As you can see, they built like five ginormous towers of gold in there. Two towers of gold back there on the pusher. One gigantic one right here in the center. And there's like two towers of gold on the corners. Those might take a little bit to crash down. So I think we should go ahead and start loading this thing up with quarters using the skill stop button. Try to get a large base of quarters built up behind all these towers, especially those towers that are on the corners. Because if you've seen older videos, y'all know the towers on the sides take a long time to crash down. I mean, it's because of those gutters on the sides. Like, if there's any weight or pressure built up on the corners, the quarters are just going to fall down those gutters. They're going to take the easiest path of travel. So the quarters would either go down the gutters or the quarters would just move around the towers. 
But if we stack up the quarters really, really high back there, that seems to speed up the process of winning those towers that are on the corners. So, oh my goodness, we're about to get that gold tower in the center. Nice, we got it. That was a spectacular push right there. That's what I'm talking about. Making tons of money and tons of gold today. Yeah, this should be a pretty good win for a $10 million buy-in. Oh my goodness. Just dropped like three or four quarters on the ground. So I'll pick them up here shortly. Come on, nice push. And also, the gold bar is still worth whatever one ounce of gold is at the moment. I am 99.9% .9 sure the gold bars are worth about... Let's see. I'm going to say they're worth about $1,800. And $50 an ounce, that's what a bunch of you all said it was worth down in the comments yesterday. However, that was yesterday's spot price of gold. I'm not really sure what it is today. Somebody can let me know the spot price of a one ounce gold bar down in the comments section. I would highly appreciate that. Just uh, leave me a comment, let me know what a one ounce gold bar is worth. Oh yeah, nice, got another gold bar right there. That tower right here on the left, it's getting pretty close to the edge. Yeah, I'd say there was at least, I don't know, 45, 50 ounces of gold in there on this ground right here. Oh yeah, jackpot baby, we got that tower on the left corner. Nice, another gold bar. It's doing amazing. Making a fortune today. And yeah, we could really, really use a nice win off of this game today. I played, let's see... I only played one game before this one. It was a losing game, unfortunately. I mean, I didn't really lose that much. I mean, I lost like, let's see, $2 million. I mean, I know that's a crazy amount of money, but I'm just saying that's not much compared to most days. Most days I'm down like 50 or $100 million or more, but today we're only down like $2 million, So I need to at least make $2 million profit on this game right here to break even for the day. Which we already got several uh, white dice, so those would multiply my winnings by whatever they land on whenever I roll them at the end of the game. So, for example, say I have won $10 million in chips today. $10 million, and say the white dice total up to 10. 10 times 10 million, that would be $100 million we'd win. So those white dice are definitely going to pay out pretty good if they land on some pretty good numbers so all right well, we're almost out of quarters all right we only got like 15 of them or so left I'm trying to get that last gold bar on that left side that right there was the last of them so let's see what it does oh yeah big push come on oh my goodness oh wait hang on a second i still got some quarters left in the basket i forgot about those nice Right, well, let's put those in there and try to get that remaining gold bar. Nice, we got it. Got it all cleared out of there. That is amazing. This game is going marvelous today. Absolutely marvelous. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and cash in that $5 chip. They'll take all that stuff that's on the blue shelves and they'll put it into the play field. So let's call them back here and we'll get right back to it. Alrighty, AMV coin brusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $5 chip, they took all those towers that was on the blue shelves, and they put them all into the play field. My goodness, they built a massive tower of gold right there in the center, and they put the two dollars chip towers on the pusher. Hopefully we don't lose too much of those to the blue shelves, because typically if the towers are stacked up pretty tall, they'll end up falling over there on the blue shelves and we'll lose them. And I did not even see this, but there was two bounty chips in there. Those must have been hidden like right behind that great big old wall. I couldn't see those uh, bounty chips at all. So pretty much, if you don't know what those bounty chips are for, each one of those is worth 500 free quarters on any game I choose. And that's actually how I was able to bring a thousand of my own quarters today to play this game. I had uh, three bounty chips saved up. I decided to use two of them on this game right here. And uh, that's how I was able to bring a thousand of my own quarters. And a lot of people ask me how I have so many bounty chips saved up. Because like, I haven't been winning the bounty chips lately on the videos I've been posting. Pretty much on uh, losing videos sometimes. Like sometimes when it'll be a losing game, 
I'll win like two or three of the bounty chips, and I don't post the losing videos like I've said before. So that's how I'll have like bounty chips saved up, even though like you all haven't seen me win them. I hope that makes sense. Oh yeah, well all them 25,000 only chip towers are crashing down pretty good. Hopefully we can get these two mystery bags also. Really, really excited to see what's inside of those. Hopefully there's some more dice. Mystery money keychain will be pretty nice also. Alright, well let's go ahead and use that skill stop button. Let's put a whole bunch of quarters in there at once. Try to get a large base of quarters built up behind all these massive towers. And uh, you see how we lost, like, what is that, 125 grand to the blue shelf on the right hand side? So typically that would cost an extra 100 grand to have them put that back into the play field. But today, since we got that $50 chip, whenever I cash in that $50 chip, they will take that and they'll do a free reset and they'll put that back into the play field along with the stuff that's falling down those uh, gutters, those side slots on the side. So. We get a free reset whenever we cash in that $50 chip. Then if we lose anything from there on out, like if we lose more chips after we cash in the $50 chip, then it would cost me an extra hundred grand. Well, unless they had a red earbud in there or something. So, anyhow, we got that tower on the right hand side to crash down. I think we got that pink mystery bag also. It was on top of that great big old tower. That center is pushing really, really well. Getting tons of $25,000 chips, gold bars. It's doing amazing. So anyhow, I hope y'all are doing good and having a wonderful day so far today. And remember, if this is your first time watching and you're enjoying my videos, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video would help out tremendously. We're on the road to 135,000 subscribers. My goal is to get there by the 15th of this month. That's only a couple days away, so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And my goal is to get 150,000 subscribers by the end of this year, so that's like two or three more months away. So if you're new around here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. If you want to see more amazing videos like this, I post videos daily. Don't miss out. So anyhow, that right there was the last of the quarters. Let's go retrieve the quarters, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. So before I continue playing, I'd like to go ahead and check out this pink mystery bag right here. Let's go ahead and open it up, see if there's anything nice and valuable in there. It feels like it's loaded up pretty well. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. We got two more gold dice and two more white dice. And we got a Bitcoin, so these Bitcoins don't have any cash value. They're just entries into a free $100,000 buy-in giveaway. I've won a free $500 buy-in giveaway before. That's been like a little over a year ago. So, I don't normally win those Bitcoin giveaways. I haven't won the free $100,000 buy-in giveaway yet. Oh my goodness, nice. We got that uh, tower on the left corner. That bounty chip got stuck against the glass, unfortunately. Yeah, I feel like that's going to interfere with that tower falling down. The way that bounty chip is positioned, it's like going to make that tower get stuck against the glass or something. So, might have to call them back here to have them rearrange that or something. I don't know. Anyhow, let's push on this right-hand side for now. Try to focus on getting that tower to go. Oh yeah, it's moving good. Come on, nice push. Oh yeah, I think that bounty chip on the left side, it's going to go. Well, it moved for a second. Right, well, let's go ahead and load this thing up with quarters again. Why not? Let's put like... I don't know, five or six hundred quarters in that once. Really, really need a nice base of quarters built up behind all these towers. Well, I didn't mean to let go of that skill stop button, but anyhow, let's keep on going. Yeah, hopefully we can get a nice push out of this right here. So anyhow, getting back to talking about what I was saying a couple seconds ago about subscribing and stuff. Let's also try to get 5,000 likes on this episode right here. 
5,000 likes. I know we can accomplish that. Just need everybody watching to hit that like button. Tell you what, if this video can get 5,000 likes within the first day of it being uploaded, tomorrow I will do a $50 million buy-in with a thousand quarter challenge, like put a thousand quarters in there at once, or I could do a one quarter challenge. It's totally up to you all. Just let me know what you want to see down in the comments. And uh, the video can get at least 3,000 likes in the day. Then I'll do a $30 million buy-in with a one quarter challenge. And uh, if the video can get 10,000 likes in the day, then I'll do a half a billion dollar buy-in. Maybe a one quarter challenge on a half a billion dollar buy-in. I'm not sure. But anyhow, let's get 10,000 likes and I'll do that half a billion dollar buy-in. And if the video somehow got 20,000 likes within 24 hours of it being uploaded, I would do a one billion dollar buy-in. But only if the video got 20,000 likes, that'd be the only requirement. Yeah, I feel like that tower's stuck on that bounty chip right there. I don't think that bounty chip's gonna go. So anyhow, let's go ahead and uh, call them back here, see if they'll rearrange that, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, AMV coin busher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called them back here and they rearranged that tower and that bounty chip that was stuck on that left corner. They put the tower and the mystery bag right there in the center and they put that bounty chip all the way back there on the pusher. So those are much better spots for those towers. Hopefully they don't get stuck against the glass again. Anyhow, after we win that out of there, I will open up that uh, black mystery bag and I will also cash in that $50 chip. So stay tuned for that. More exciting gameplay coming right up. And also, it is 100% free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I don't get paid any money when y'all hit that subscribe button or hit the like button. I mean, in reality, it just makes it a million percent easier for you all to keep up with the future videos. Because once you hit that subscribe button, there should be a bell icon right next to it. If you hit that bell icon, it will give you the option to turn on all notifications. And if you turn on all notifications, you'll get notified on your phone, TV, laptop, computer, iPad, tablet, whatever device you're watching my videos on, you'll get notified every single time I post a brand new video. And like I said earlier, I post videos seven days a week, and you're not going to want to miss out on any amazing content. Like I said, I make these videos daily, so be sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell icon, that way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. So anyhow, we got it all cleared out of there. That is amazing. So let's go ahead and check out that mystery bag. Right here it is. Let's go ahead and open it up, see if there's anything good and valuable in there. It feels like it's loaded up pretty well. So let's see what we get. Oh my goodness, wow. Check this out. So we got 50 grand, two $25,000 chips, two more gold dice, and another white dice. That's what I'm talking about. Mystery bag was loaded up really, really well. So anyhow, let's go ahead and cash in that $50 chip. And we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, AMV coin busher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $50 chip. They took all that stuff that fell down in their loot box today. And they put it all back into the play field. Looks like there's a whole bunch of $1,000 chips. five dollars and $10,000 chips. $25,000 chips. They got it loaded up really, really well. And there's a yellow mystery bag right there in the center. And they put like two gold towers on the blue shelf. So that tells me that, that mystery bag right there either has a $5 chip or a red earbud. Well, it definitely looks kind of flat. So it looks like uh, more than likely there's a $5 chip in there. Nice. Well, we got that mystery bag. So I'll check out that mystery bag here in just a second. Let's try to get all these remaining chips out of here. There's a whole bunch in there. I'd say we can easily make an extra... Goodness gracious, I don't know. Maybe close to a million dollars off of this uh, $50 chip bonus game. At least $750,000, I'd say. There's a whole bunch of $25,000 chips in there, and it takes four of those to make a hundred grand. So, yeah, there was definitely a whole bunch in there today. I 
Oh yeah, that was a brilliant push right there. Let's just keep it pushing across the whole field. I think that's the best option for now. Oh yeah, just about got it all cleared out of there. There's all those chips on the edge. Hopefully we can get that 75 grand right there. Nice, got 50 grand, 50 more grand about ready to go. Nice, we got that right side cleared out. Now let's get that five grand on the left. Oh yeah, it's almost there. Come on, nice push. Give me something. Well, we're getting a consistent return of quarters, that's for sure. It's always nice to win quarters back, because without the quarters, you can't win none of the towers and stuff. Quarters are super, super beneficial. Yeah, I'd say the quarters and the dice are definitely the most important thing in the game, because the dice, that's how you can make millions, and the quarters, that's how you can win the towers out of there. So, I mean, there's a lot that goes into it. Pretty much everything in the game is important. The dice, the quarters, the chips, because you need every bit of that stuff in order to make your money back and make a profit. Nice, we got it. Got it all cleared out of there. That is amazing. So, let's go ahead and open up that mystery bag. All right, here's that mystery bag. You can kind of see through it just a little bit. Definitely looks like a chip of some sort. It's like round, so I would say it's probably that $5 chip. Let's see, what'd we get? Nice, check this out. So we got that $5 chip, so I'll get to cash that in. They'll put them two gold towers in the play field. So let's go ahead and cash that in. We'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, Andy Coinbush, your has your turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that uh, $5 chip. They took both of those gold towers that was on the blue shelves, and they put them into the play field. They're in a really, really nice spot. They're right there in the center. So those should be pretty easy to win, more than likely. So, let's just keep it pushing right there in the center. Yeah, we should be able to get them gold towers out of there in no time. Oh yeah, they're getting super, super close. That right there might get it. Come on, big money. Nice, well we got one of them. I think that was like six or seven ounces of gold. I think there was seven ounces of gold in each stack, I'm pretty sure. Nice, we got it, got it all cleared out of there today. That is absolutely remarkable. This has been a miraculous game today, absolutely miraculous. So now I'm going to call them back here. I think we've won 12 dice in total. We got six of the white dice and six of the gold dice. They will put all 12 of them dice back there on the pusher. We have to roll them on down to that lower shelf. Whatever they land on, we get to multiply our winnings and our gold by those numbers. So let's call them back here and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called them back here. They put all 12 of them dice back there on the pusher. So let's roll them on down to that lower playfield area. Hopefully they all land on some humongous numbers today. Well, we got a four, so that's automatically four times our winnings. Nice, and we got a five, so that is nine times our winnings right there. Oh my goodness, we got another five. Oh no, well one of the white dice flipped over to a one, unfortunately, so the one will be a zero. So if any of those other dice lands on ones, just pretend they don't exist. The ones do not count at all. We went on everything from two to six. However, we can keep on pushing to try to flip the dice over to something else, but we can't push too much because if any of the dice fall over the edge or down the gutters, we would lose them. They would become duds. We really need that gold dice to go. Nice, there it goes. We got a five on that. So, say if we keep on pushing right there in the center, if that four falls over the edge, we'd lose that. We wouldn't get that at all. So anyhow, it's not bad, not bad at all. The majority of those dice landed on some amazing numbers. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and count everything up, multiply our winnings and our gold by all that, and I'll let y'all know how much money we've made from a $10 million buy-in. Be right back. You all are not going to believe how much money I've won today. This is absolutely spectacular. I ended up winning $10,168,000 in chips, and all those white dice combined ended up multiplying my winnings by 19. 
and in total I ended up winning one hundred and ninety three million one hundred and ninety two thousand dollars from a ten million dollar buy and that is absolutely outstanding that's another huge life changing jackpot win today absolutely mind blowing and on top of that enormous win we also won 61 ounces of gold and all the gold dice combined ended up multiplying the gold by 25 and in total I ended up winning 1,525 ounces of gold today and the spot price of gold is like 1,850 so that means we got an extra $2,821,250 in gold today that is absolutely fantastic right there and we also won two of the bounty chips, so that's uh, each one of those is 500 free quarters on any game I choose. And last but not least, we got one of the bitcoins, so that's one entry into the free $100,000 buy-in giveaway. So that's not bad, not bad at all for a $10 million buy-in. So if you all enjoyed today's video, be sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. Also, if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of my videos, that will appear on the right hand side of the screen. And if you want to check out yesterday's video, the previous video, that will appear on the left hand side of the screen. And if you want to subscribe and visit my channel and watch older videos, that you can click that button up top there. So anyhow, see y'all in the next video. Y'all take care and have a wonderful day.